Hello everybody, welcome back to Shadow and Chronicles Boston Lockdown here on a town called Bastard with myself and Chris Corline. I am Chris Corline. He is Chris Corline, uh, it can't be denied. Um, so we're in the Matrix. Not the Matrix, but the Not Matrix. Not the Matrix TM, just the no. Matrix. Yeah. Uh, and we're about to talk to Sarah because she's about to follow up a... Uh, well, we're halfway through a quest, right? We're breaking into a corporate building that's... Yeah, yeah. It's not... Am I right in saying it's not as technology, but as technology own it? Um, and also as technology are sending their own goons against it for some yeah, reason. Yeah, so something weird is going on. Yeah. And we're, we're trying to get in to talk to some exec guy who, who knows kind of what's been going on. Apparently. So, um, yeah, we've just headed up from the lobby. Let's talk to Sarah and see what she has to say. Yep. Are you ready? The elevator will be there in a couple seconds. Good luck. Well, that was quick. Let's head on in. Uh, can I speak to the manager? Get to Alberto Cruzado before he is killed by the hit squad. Will do. Oh, I forgot I've got my new kind of pseudo pirate oh, gear, haven't I? Look at that. Man, you are styling. Yeah. I'm basically yeah, <laughs> the boy who lived meets uh, Judge Dredd. <laughs> uh, who's on the list today? Well, there's a guy called Grol. Oh, I'm taking this guy. Oh, look at that. He's like an. Uh, like a Buddhist monk elf, only the Buddhist a Buddhist monk who's like had to get his robe at carpet corner instead of I don't know sa <laughs> saffron mart. I don't know. Yeah, I'm going for this guy. Uh, I'm going to go for someone as soon as I can find someone who isn't just a goddamn thumper monkey. Ten pin. Hmm. That seems he's, a bit cheeky. He's one of the um, defaults. Volt Cooper. Oh, yeah. That's, exactly, that's pretty much the same person. <laughs> Hang on, is he automatic or is he shoddy? Yeah, I think he's, that's he's a shoddy. He's shoddy. That's yeah. <laughs> cool. So it's me and Mini-Me and you and Mega-You. Yeah, presumably we <laughs> left the other two in the lobby to... Die. To diff Well, I was so going to say, yeah. Uh, the executive lift carries you up swiftly. You grimly reload and prepare to go in guns blazing. Grim. Grim. Dark. Dark. I've got enough of that with 40k on the channel. Yeah, that's just all you're doing right now, isn't it? It is. It feels There's like it. There's a lot of Matrix activity here. They're trying to make sure nothing gets out. Classic corporate wet work. I'm sure they'll blame it on the competition. I'm fond of the word wet work. I don't know why. Um, okay. Well, what's, what's up? What's up? <laughs> what, what, what's going on here? What yeah, are we how are you? <laughs> what's, what's your favourite kind of cheese? Uh, I'm going to buck the trend by summoning a bear. Get Order some vision. Let's get some LOS in on this. Looks good. Mm -hmm. Another problem. Give me a nice hack. Uh, I am going to get even more LOS. Damn. They iced all these wage slaves. Yikes. Iced. Love iced. It. Oops. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> it's fine, probably. Can't get too much worse. No. Um. I think I'm just going to try and mark this dude. We've got a 69 on the mark on the Jaguar, Jaguar Adept. Jaguar? Jaguar. Jaguar. I think Jaguar or Jaguar. I believe jaguar. Americans call it Jaguar. Jaguar? Jaguar. Um, <laughs> not sure that's uh, not horribly racist. Racist against Americans. Um, you know what? Have a haste. Because you're the only person who can do anything right now. What do you want? Another mark or a straight up, uh, straight up kill? Uh, kill that adept if you can. I don't think I can kill him. I can definitely mark him. You took away half of his damage before. Oh, the uh, no, the jaguar. I took away half his damage. Yeah, that's what I mean. Oh, jaguar adept. Oh, sorry. Yeah, because like two jaguar adepts. That way he can't try and kill a bear. No. Oh, well. I died. Oh, it's fine. Oh. Ow, Jesus, that guy's styling. Right, well, I've got to get some line of sight here. Uh, but I've also got to attack stuff. So, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I guess I could just summon another bear, to be honest. Get a bit of line of sight and then summon a bear. Oh, hello. Um, nice. Well, I'm going to stun this guy at the back, because I'm guessing we can probably kill that other guy. I'd say so. I'm going to take this uh, location for the moment. 
Uh, and I've just gone to reckon pop a cap at him, I reckon. Yeah, I would. In fact, I'm going to deal with the flipping deck. Yeah, I'd deck him. Less. It's probably going to be high percentage, right? Cost less ammo. Right. Okay, that did that. What's this? Headcracker. Use the other business end of your shotgun to stun an enemy and instantly regain an action. So yeah, it's really good. So let's just poke over here, make sure I'm not going to cause any trouble. And then let's push forward to this good forward cover position. See what happens next. I'm gonna say I'm willing to bet you're not gonna get much. Uh, well, I've got an alright chance to hit it here, here though. 64%. Uh, he, had, he has magic shields, but he'll go a bit past them. I think he'll get rid of them in case we want to blast him with magic again. Yeah. That was a critical. So. Was it? Oof! Bloody hell! Ow! <laughs> See yeah. <your> respect. <laughs> Ow, indeed. Um, crawl! Um, I can probably okay. kill him. Yeah, go up. for it. Go for it. Whoa, okay, or maybe not. Jesus, that's some heavy... Can you not get, uh, can you not get a flank on him? With Vault. Um, oh, yeah, I probably could. I was just looking to see what I could, what useful stuff I could do with... Um, Bear's going to stay here. I think it can't do anything else. So I think I'm, not, I'm not do going to get... damage to this guy. I'm not going to get a safe flank on him, regardless. Really? Yeah. Well, what, what? By being surely by being behind that couch. It's not. I don't think it's technically a flank, is it? Well, let's give yeah, it a go. Yeah, of course it's a flank. He's not. Um, that's how flanks work in XCOM and such like. <sighs> Eleven to fifteen. Yeah. Okay. Have some. But you'll have a good chance to crit because you'll uh, be flanking. You should do. Yeah. Not necessary. 20 out of 20, he's got physical armor, for fuck's sake. <sighs> but physical armor. I'm just going to stun the bastard from here, stop him from chewing on my shoddy guy. Fair <laughs> enough. Or not. Oh, okay. Uh, what's this guy on? 20. Uh, and he's physically unarmored, so. Eviscerate, probably. Yeah. Eviscerate. Come a time. No. 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 Um, no. No. Not, but not good job on killing that person. I'm not sure getting, his family will not, thank you not for. Not digging it. that Sisters of Mercy reference. No. Nope. Okay. That's fine. God, I should have healed Grol though. Grol. Yes, still. Um. Can you? You can't heal people from afar, can you? No, I'd have um, to be nice. Then. Okay. Well, then I'm going to. At least with current technology. He's got so much magic protection, there's no point trying to down him with magic. So, I'm going to give... I'm going to give Vault an action. Okay. Um. May I suggest actually not moving forward, because then yeah. that'll make Grawl the prime target and he'll just die. So maybe you're taking a shot at him or something. I've just got a 19% here. I suppose it's better than... Bloody hell, 19%? Yeah. Yikes. That's crap. I can move into better cover or take a 19%. Well, that's up to you. It's up to you. The problem is I'd rather Grawl take the shot than your guy take the shot because it's instant death for your man. Mm. I'm going to take that 19. I believe. Yeah. Oh. Ouch. Okay. Blimey, these guys taking all sorts of damage here. Okay, um, I'm going to dash him, because why wouldn't I, basically? Yep, I can tidy up from here. I don't think I'll kill him, so we'll have to uh, do more. Proc. Yep, no oh, proc, nice. and it didn't even get to alter his armor. Yeah, that's what you do, use tech on them, son. Um... Bait bear, bait bear. I can cast haste again. Bloody hell. Let's try this. Copperhead's Cop taking some haste. So I can do another That'll attack. That'll do on the in job. Prop this time, well, you got might. It's. Well, of course you missed. <laughs> it was a 19%. No, it was like 23 now, because of the mark. 
but why didn't you move forwards? Because, look, I don't want to get hit again. <laughs> but he, he, he won't hit you if he's dead. Yeah, well, why would I shoot him if he's dead? Oh, uh, shut up. Uh, organ harvesting. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, God damn it! You are so bad at this. Ah, uh, okay. I'm going to click the thing. Okay. Alison Sanborn here, reporting on the f recent news from the QZ. Despite numerous warnings and posting on the public grid, it seems the first astral casualty uh, of the quarantine has occurred. The astral form of a projecting mage violated the boundaries of the astral quarantine and refused to surrender to the authorities. He attacked the security coalition forces and in their defence the mage was astrally disrupted. The individual was not identified and is believed to be a shadow runner. I implore those out there to leave this work to the security coalition and don't try to take it into your own hands. This is a serious matter, not for amateurs. Okay, then. Uh, Fair enough, we go. Through there, I would imagine. I don't know. Somewhere. Yeah, we got some Bear's options. We got some options, son. Uh, Grawl, meanwhile, is going to go... Go here first. And he's gonna go over here and then get healed. Although I only have a this is going to be ten med points. He's got quite a lot of physical and tech armor, just no magic armor. So. Oh. And we're trying to infiltrate a building full of mages. So uh, good call, good call. Nice. Well, shut up. That's how I think of it. Um, okay, you can try and lockpick this successfully. Stun grenade. Silver cred stick, which reminds me, I haven't sold all my valuables in ages. Which way are we going? Uh, That's probably an important north. question. I don't like. I don't like how blind we'll be if we go north, because it's a tight corner. I know. I prefer to go this way. I think. That is north. Is it? Oh, it is north. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was looking at the actual direction and not at the uh, compass. Yeah. Okay, well... Vault needs to go. Oh, Hello. There's a guy. There is a guy. Zero percent chance to hit. I actually think I'm going to pull back. Yeah, I would. Oh, hello. Ow. Like, holy shit, son. That was just straight up rude. Um, okay. Okay, um, yeah. well, first off, I'm summoning a bear, obviously. Just want to point out I have no stun right now. That's why I'm going to stun someone with a bear. Wow, wiping the storage wasn't enough. Someone wants to make extra sure that whatever was stored here is gone. Gone. Uh, okay, who do I stun? Does my stun work against people with magic? Stun the guy right in front, therefore, creating a... a the, the other guy will literally have to run quite a distance to But do I'm not entirely sure that... Does my thing work on magic people? Well, one way to find out. Yes, it does. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, hmm. What we got? Frag grenades. I can mana bolt them. Yeah, do we mana bolt frag grenade them, combo probably. might do the trick, actually. Okay. Uh, do you want to... Is it easier for you to grenade with me stood in the doorway or not stood in the doorway? So, which group are we talking about? I'm talking about the 200 percenters that don't have a bear near them. Ah, uh, so am I. Okay, yeah. So, I... Actually, I'll move back here. Yeah, you're not hitting my reticles. I can go here and still make okay, a Okay, that's 95% I'll do, mate. Not a goddamn dent. A little right. bit of a dent. Hmm. <laughs> oh, dear. No, it's not bad. It's not bad. We got this. We got this. It's still good. It's still good. It's still good. We got this. We're going to take four, three attacks this turn. Uh, Vault starts to go. Yeah, I'm trying to think of what to do with them, to be honest. Um, that guy on my end is going to attack the bear, so I'd attack these. The guys we've been just been attacking. It's just... I could get a good cone shot if I could get some cover anywhere. What about by the lockers? Yeah, I can give it a go. I'm not going to get the guy behind him, though, so I might You might. Sometimes it does go through cover. Sometimes it's weird. Ooh, he's oh, beat up. That guy's beat up. Let's try it. Please, please, please. Oh. Yeah, I think we're going to lose one this turn. Bloody hell. Holy hell. 
This is uh, this is being a bit brutal. Yeah, pretty brutal. Okay, let me okay, get my well. let me get my bear sorted first. How much damage do you have? Ten. Okay, he can just kill this guy. That's that's that does that. That does that. Um, what about these guys near us? The guy with thirteen. Thirteen. Can I just flat out kill that dude with a power bolt? No. I don't think. Oh, maybe I can. Um, let's with a mana bolt. No, ten to eleven. Really? Can you do thirteen damage straight out to that jaguar adept with someone? Um, which particular one? The one by the bear? Or the no, one? no, the one by the bear doesn't matter. Okay, gotcha. Um, do do do. What do you do? Eleven to fifteen. Yeah, if I shot him. Okay. Try it. Okay, I'm gonna move so I'm flanking, and then take the shot. Oh, Fuck. that's the saddest okay. thing that's ever happened to me. Have you got any stuns on on cooldown? Yeah, stuns are ready. Okay, can you stun that sun priest? Yes. I'm going to move myself slightly further back first. Just for a lower chance to hit? <laughs> yep. Doesn't matter with attacking all that much. No. Oh, this is the saddest day of my life. Okay, and then I'm going to go back here, and I'm going to mana bolt this dude for 100%. Well, that worked. Um, no. Nice. Now, there's it's something to be said for just not moving, not attacking that guy, and for um, letting the bear take the hit. Fingers crossed. Yeah, because um, like, you're in full cover, you've only taken one shot. Yeah, I'm actually going to move back here. Uh, and I'm just going to try and have a power bolt on him. I believe in you. Yes. Yeah, I thought he'd get the bear. I'd much rather he hit the bear than me. Um, close white. Now I should be able to kill him, or probably kill him. He's physically unarmored now, isn't he? Yes, he is. Okay, I can use eviscerate on him. Best of luck. Yeah, it does fearsome damage. On okay. Unarmored opponents. Oh, there's that guy back there as well. Yeah, well, yeah. That, that's an easy one for Vault, isn't it? Just did. Point Again, blank. Blank. Point blank. Shot. Shotty shot. Nice. Wasted. Right. Okay, that went a bit better. I'm gonna run my dude over here. Is he wearing sandals or flip? Is he wearing flip flops? Or like a kind of 1950s lady shoe? Either way, what else have you got? Um, so what's going on around here? We've got a demolishable thing there. Okay, looks like the actual progress is further. Oh my god! Look uh, to the yeah. the actual. Yeah. Have you seen the door yeah. closing on the guy's head? <laughs> nice. Um, okay, I'm going to move bear up here, but we should probably grab things while we're uh, yep. in the proximity. I'm going to go demolish this thing. Dock wagon card. Thank you. Good. Kind of needed. Uh, I can't get to the other thing. So I'm, grab I'm actually the going thing. to make for a um, flank here for our next. Uh, no, fine, fair enough. Uh, do you want to grab the uh, whatever the use take thing on the far right with Bong? Uh, is Bong going to make it? No, he's not. We can get over there. Yeah, I'll be happy. Um, you take the day off, son. You've had a you've had a rough day. Okay then. Um, responsive mm. filament. I don't know what that is. I got a flipping deck, son. Okay, there's an openable door there. I imagine that's going to be. Please, please ah. don't kill me. No. should have thought about that when you crossed me, human. Did he say Damon? What is that Playboy dragon doing here, and why is he working with Aztec? Quick, get in and see if you can grab Cruzado's combo. Okay. Be able to retrieve some data from Boss battle ahead. Okay. For anyone confused, uh, in Shadowrun, dragons can take human form. And, you know, D&D. &D. Um, can they take human form in D&D? 
You surely can. I don't know. I'm I'm not all out of favor with Indy. Get off this channel. I have uh, 23, 24 years role-playing experience. I've never played D&D. You're dead to me. No, I'm not, Chris. You don't do role-playing. No. <laughs> Give me one more turn. We'll set up a beagle breach. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm happy recovering mana anyway. Okay. I'm, I'm happy where I am. Yep. Do you not want to be closer so you can get in and shoot things? Uh, yeah, sure. Because if you're going to take my positions, you can at least be next to me. Chip, chip. Okay, let's do this. Ugh. Drek, Damon Ice the Mark, grab his comlink. Okay, uh, yeah, so Blood Spirits. Uh, stun immune for 40 hit points. However, this is an ideal opportunity to use my Eviscerate because it has no physical... Um, oh, no, opening the door counted as an action. Wow, you are in bad shape. Um, I can get a stun off, stun immune. No point in trying that. Uh, ah, I can haste Copperhead. Ah, phew. <laughs> yeah, I should have dashed it. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, eviscerate. Just because it'll deal a hell load of damage. What should do? Yep. Oh, holy Probably hell kill hell it bounce. now. I should imagine we can kill it. Yeah. Uh, tech, uh, your deck attack probably won't work on it. Because it's okay. a spirit. I'm just going to roll a goddamn... Um, a goddamn snipe, I think. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Ended. Ended, ended. Grab the goods. We have the link. There's some gray matter on it, though. Gross. Maybe we can salvage something. I see another VTOL inbound to your position. Haul ass to the extraction point now. So up. Oh, not too far away. That's fine. Whoops. Blatantly another dude here. No. Yeah, I'm gonna throw. Uh, shall I throw a bear out just rather than run for it? To, uh, I probably should because I don't think everyone can get. Can everyone get to the extraction point this turn? Uh, well, can, I've actually. sprinted to get there, so. Oh, I've... so so no then. So it's fine. I'll throw out a bear, just to hold them up. Okay. They barely noticed. Ha. You're welcome. Uh, go here and take a pot shot at that bear. Bargast. Fair enough. Oh, I could have. Immune to tech? Yeah, it's got. It's a uh, bargast, so it's. Magic. Um, have you got a decent shot from there? No. Alright, never mind then. I will uh, just. Mana bolt it from here, right? Arf! Aww. It's fine. Let's get out of it. Good job. Cheesy kids. That was a fragged up run. Do you think that was really Damon? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Why would a dragon be involved in Aztec experiments on humans? Azzy's are good for anything. And nobody can make sense of dragons. I guess. Good, good job, everyone. GGWP. Quite. Ugh. Tricky. No one dead. Can it really be said to be tricky if no one died? Someone nearly died. It's true. Two people nearly died. Nearer to death than we have been previously. It's true. Hello, Sarah. Why did you send us there? Have you gotten anything out of that ship we took out of the dead guy? We are analyzing the data. Jane is helping me now, but it will take a while. Let me know when you find something. So you do care about what happened here? Lady, when my ass is on the line, I care about every fragging angle there is. Besides, sticking it to Omega is just too sweet a bonus to ignore. Okay then. 
There's shit with pay data, salmon karma, which I definitely don't think is enough to uh, get my next boost up. Uh, which I can't remember what it is. Probably mine. I was going for. No, I'm one off. I'm going to sell off. all my junk. BRB. Okay. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, while you do that, that's not probably terribly interesting for people to, to watch. So we'll end the episode there, we'll wrap that up, and uh, we'll be back with you next episode for what looks like one of these two side missions uh, from the Collector and Jane. So yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, please feel free to leave a comment or a like or a subscribe or whatever it is you do with the internet that makes you happy in your pants. And we'll uh, see you next time. Goodbye. Yeah, goodbye.